2020, animal shelters have seen an increase in surrenders. Inflation is one reason. Another is unforeseen medical procedures for their pets that families just can't afford. Victoria Chester Rose knows this well, and she's here along with some friends, Kayla and Gerald, who we <laughs> adore already. And now she's using her experience, Vicki is, to give dog owners the chance to save their own pups as well. It's called the Izzy Fund. So, Victoria, we really wanted to start with you first. And sure. tell us about Izzy and how she inspired this. Sure. Izzy was my dog for almost 15 years. Um, she passed about a month of her of her 15th birthday, and I always say she is the heart behind this charity. Um, when Izzy, it was probably December of 2020, uh, she was diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension. Okay. And I remember, you know, kind of soaking it all in, and then you see that first bill. And when you see that bill, you think to yourself, at her age, I, I, I look back and I think at her age, I'd have one option if I couldn't afford that bill. Right. And if she were younger, like Gerald, the other option would be surrendering her. And so um, we did everything we could oh. for her. And at the end, um, oh, what you know, a cutie pie I, she, was. she was. She was in our wedding. That was our wedding. Oh. She was my flower girl. But, <laughs> but after she passed, um, I was very fortunate to have no what ifs. And I just wanted to start a charity and help others with the cost of veterinarian care so I could provide that same opportunity to others. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, Kayla, talk to us about how th this has been able to help Gerald, right? Yes. So, so I ended up actually meeting Vicki and the Izzy Fund after we had the spinal surgery. Um, and honestly, we were at the point when we first met her, he wasn't walking, he was basically paralyzed and through hydrotherapy that the Izzy Fund has helped with, we were able to actually get him to move um, quite well and he has a pretty normal life now. I saw that you, you had to help him up the stairs, but yes. other than that, he's able to get where he needs to go. Pretty much, he does get fatigued a bit when he walks, but other than that, he doesn't really have a, a difference in life. It's wonderful. Yeah, and he's taking it all in right now. It is. He's, he's looking at all the cameras. <laughs> he really, I, I love his face he and is. expression. He's so calm. Yeah. Victoria, tell us about some of the other animals that you've been able to help. Yep. Yep, so we've been doing our, our um, organization, we're very small, we are 100% donation based, but what we do is we help with specialized veterinarian care. So if you've been diagnosed with something pretty serious like a spinal injury or like a, uh, a heart condition, cancer, mm -hmm. and you're gonna need ongoing treatment or therapy, that's where we can come in and help. And so some of the other dogs that we've been able to help, um, we had a dog who had a seizure disorder that at the, he was meant to be a veteran's dog, but then he ended up getting a seizure disorder. He had one of his um, seizures at the top of the stairs and mm -hmm. fell and damaged his whole knee. And she had started to go fund me. And with the Izzy Fund, we were able to kick in the rest to help cover that oh, knee surgery. That's fantastic. Yep, and we've been seeing a very big uptick in um, applicants. Uh, so it's just it's it's just the rising cost of veterinarian care is just right. kind of scary right now. Yeah, yeah, Kayla. In fact, the the cost of the treatment that Gerald has had to go through. Yes. I mean, it's it's probably much more expensive than you ever even thought that would it would be, right? It's ongoing. This is probably going to be the rest of his life. But without it, he wouldn't be able to have the life. He currently has um, but it is quite expensive so like donations are more than like it's everything yeah, yeah. And how can people make donations? How can yep. people help? You can go to our website. So you can go to the izzyfund.org, um, and that's I-Z-Z-I-E. -Z -Z -E. <laughs> but you can go to our website. You can follow us on Instagram. You could, you know, even if you don't have the, the means to support us financially, and we love the financial part, you could go out to our Instagram account. We're out in the community all the time, and you can go like our posts, share our posts, right. all of that. Mm -hmm. and follow along world. in our journey. Yeah. I mean, we're one year old, so it's, it's, we're young, and we can really use the help and, and just get the word out. In fact, we were just sharing some of your community events, and we'll have more of that posted, too. Sure. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having thank us. So thank much. you for what you're doing. Yeah. Thank and, you. Gerald, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. What a good boy. You're thank like a you. TV star, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for more info on the Izzy Fund and how you can help a pup in our area that is in need of a life-saving procedure, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com, and we have the info there for you. So cute. I can't. Stop looking at him, he's so cute.